Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Math is Fine. I am Teacher Sheryl, and for those who are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Stay tuned! Our lesson for today is all about multiplying decimals up to two decimal places by one to two digit whole numbers. These are the steps in multiplying decimals. Number one, in multiplying a decimal by a whole number, multiply the factors like you are multiplying whole numbers. When we say factors, these are numbers to be multiplied. Next, count the number of decimal places of the factors to determine the number of decimal places in the product. When we say product, it is the answer of multiplication. And lastly, affix the decimal points in the product. To understand the steps, Let's study some examples. Find the product of 8 tenths and 9. First is we're going to write in vertical form. Then we're going to multiply the factors as if multiplying whole numbers. So 9 times 8, the answer is equal to 72. We can write whole 72 here because next of 8 is 0. It means that there's no whole number. Then, we're going to count the decimal number. Decimal number found after the decimal point. So, we only have one decimal number, which is equal to 8. Then, we're going to count one decimal place to our product. Okay? This is 1, and we're going to put the decimal point in between 7 and 2. Another example, find the product of 65 hundredths and 7. Okay, we're going to write in a vertical form. Then we're going to multiply the factors as we multiply whole numbers. We disregard first the decimal point. Okay, 7 times 5, the answer is equal to 35. Okay, we put 5 here and we regroup 3. 7 times 6 is equal to 42 plus 3 is equal to 45. Okay, then we're going to count the decimal numbers. Okay, decimal numbers found after the decimal points at the right. So 1, 2, then we're going to count in our product to decimal place. Okay, we're going to put the decimal point here. Our answer is 4 and 55 hundredths. Another example, find the product of 94 hundredths and 25. So, we're going to multiply 5 times 4. The answer is equal to 20. We write 0 here and we regroup 2. 5 times 9 is equal to 45 plus 2 is equal to 47. We can write whole 47 here because next of 9 is 0. Okay, next is we're going to multiply 2 to our multiplicand. Okay, 2 times 4, the answer is equal to 8. We write 8 down of 7. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. Then we're going to add the partial product. Bring down 0. 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. 5, the group 1. 1 plus 4 plus 8 is equal to 13. 3, the group 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. Okay, we have 2. Then we're going to affix the decimal point in our product to decimal place also. Okay, this is our 
answer 23 and 50 hundreds. Okay, next example. Find the product of 75 hundreds and 31. Okay, we're going to multiply as if multiplying whole numbers. Okay, 1 times 5, the answer is equal to 5. 1 times 7 is equal to 7. Okay, next is 3 times 5, the answer is equal to 15. We write 5 here and we regroup 1. 3 times 7 is equal to 21, plus 1 is equal to 22. Then we're going to add the partial product. Bring down 5. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Regroup 1. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Bring down 2. Next is we're going to count the decimal places in our factors. Okay, we have only two decimal places. Then we are going to have two decimal places also in our product. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And if you are new in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so that whenever I uploaded a new video, you will be notified. Thank you for watching!